Hi there, Brad with OnlineGolfLessons.net. Boom. I'm going to hit some balls and show you what I'm working on with my instructor, Andy Plummer. Haven't seen him in about a year in terms of instruction, but uh, this, is, this is something that's been reoccurring. So when I tell people to uh, step outside their comfort zone or I give them a hard time, uh, I, I could use a little talking to every now and again myself. And everybody I know who's a really good instructor takes lessons. We value other people's opinions, but we want professional opinions. And I have a couple students that are actually working on what I'm working on and reducing curvature and face and exit. So let me just hit some balls for you and I, I hope you comment. And I need a favor. I, I, I'm trying to learn as a business person now that I, I have to ask. Sometimes you just have to ask people for something. Could you please subscribe if you haven't? Uh, it would mean a lot to me for my business, uh, for the channel. Maybe hit like. And if you really want to be my hero, uh, I don't know, maybe share some videos on your YouTube page or, or whatever, I, or your, uh, your Facebook page, whatever you have for social media. It would uh, certainly be appreciated. So I'm not wearing a mic. Again, I know that my videos need to improve in terms of quality of audio and visual. We're gonna get there. The funds are a little low, but because of this channel, I'm starting to sell some golf lessons on my website and uh, people are digging them. They, they really are. Okay, so what I'm working on is actually just tracing the grid. I need more hands in. I had a little bit of a ferric loop going on, not a very big one, but a little bit of a ferric loop just absent of his adaptability and coordination. So I don't want to be like Jim because I just don't have his talent. So I was taking away this way and then looping and coming too far from the inside with rightward swing direction, hands getting rolly, which can shut the face to the path. I, I developed this when I learned how to hit it really far. I wanted to learn to hit it far, over 300 yards, and when I did, I couldn't keep it on planet Earth. Snap hooks, big time. Well, I'm feeling a lot better health-wise, haven't played much golf in a couple of years due to arthritis that I have, and you know, I, I need to be working on my business and, and not being out on the, uh, the golf course, but with family and friends coming down and vacationing, I think it'd be nice to get back out there and I feel a lot better after this uh, this college that I've been taking has really helped my thumb joints. So I'm, I'm getting into practicing a little bit again. All right, so what I wanna feel is that I'm tracing this to P2, all right? And I have too long of a swing, so I wanna feel a little bit of a quicker wrist hinge from two to three. And then when I come down, I wanna trace this stick. Look at the hand path now. Instead of me coming like this, this is allowing me to come down a little more on top of it. And my goal is to actually learn how to hit a cut. Um, not really cutting it yet with this drill, but I am hitting it a lot straighter, so it's brilliant. So I'm holding myself to task, and there will be skin in the game when the boys come down. Because they're amateurs, but they're good. All right, so let's trace. Good, keep those arms on the chest. I have a tendency of getting long and laid off. I'm gonna feel like it's a half a swing. A half a swing to me will probably put me where I need to be. And then exit. When I exit, I'm trying to copy Tommy Fleetwood's exit. Tommy Fleetwood's control of the face and the way he exits. What an incredible golf swing. YouTube, Tommy Fleetwood on the PGA Tour. Put in uh, Tommy down the line irons. That's who I'm trying to be like. He's my golf hero. Trace. Exit. Now, that's what it feels like. Let's see what the reels is like, right? I think that looked pretty good. So, Andy Plummer was teaching me about additive art. When you come in with too much rightward swing direction, you stall, your exit gets really, you know, more along the neckline, and you know, it's just a mess of a screwdriver look twisting of the club. And he likes me to just take this right shoulder and feel like this is my locomotion. So this is my additive arc. Instead of going to here and then this, it's 
really using this bowling motion, if you've ever heard of the bowling drill, really feeling like the locomotion and additive arc isn't from a long swing, it isn't from lag generation, I have plenty of that, it has to do with exit propelled by the right shoulder. Does that make sense? So let's do it again. I warmed up by tracing 30 times. Hit that one a little bit off the hosel, which means I didn't get my hand path close enough to my body and exit probably went out this way. But you have to remember, it's very cerebral how I'm going about this. It, I'm thinking during the entire swing. And that's not a good way to play golf, but it's a good way to change your motor pattern. Try to get those repetitions in. Hands in. Hinge more deeper about P2. Exit. A little better on that one, a little clunky. But I'm not worried about results right now. I'm going to try to put a thousand reps in this week and get ready for some winter golf with my baseball buddies and uh, my friends coming down again because I'm on this collagen stuff. Who knew? Helps joints. I don't know. Oh, baby. Woo! Sometimes you do catch it. Again, that's not the important thing. It's just ball after ball being very cerebral. Everything counts because I'm giving commands to my central nervous system. Sean Clement, another great YouTuber, uh, one of my mentors at one point, talks about the central nervous system. What a great channel. Check it out. Ooh, can't tell this club is uh, new anymore. I just marked the center of the face. Additive arc, forward. Good. You have to exaggerate. Oh, mama mia. So I just wanted to come on and say hi and uh, show you what I'm working on. If you hook the ball too much, the bowler drill is great for you. More information on my website or if you want to comment here, if you want the best damn lesson of your life and a video golf program, get them both for $99. I promise I won't let you down. You have my word, it will be great. Or I'll give your money back. See ya.